Oh, that doctor. Time travel skills. Dad skills. Well, he has a granddaughter, which should mean, in theory, he has, like, kids. He has a granddaughter? Yeah, Barbara, that was in the first one. You're asking the wrong guy about that. First doctor. God. You're so disappointed in me. Brush up on your doctor who? You brush up on... You brush up on every movie ever. Because you've never seen... How long did it take for you to see Star Wars, dear? How old were you? Well, I'd seen bits of- How old were you when you saw the trilogy? First one, original, good one, the one doesn't suck. We were in Camarillo, so that was... Um, yeah. I was definitely in my 20s, like 24? How long, did it, um, how long did it take you to see Indiana Jones, dear? Oh, I still haven't seen it. Oh, boy. So, oh, in, in the realm of the people in this relationship, that need to see things. You need to brush up on your Doctor Who from the 1970s. 60s. Six. God, Bob! You're right. You're right. I'm... You're, I'm the pop culture midget of this relationship. You're a disappointment. I'm, a, I'm the pop culture disappointment. Yeah. James Spader? Damn right, you stuck your ass in his face. I stuck my ass in James Spader's face at Amoeba Music. That was the best. Oh, it's no problem. <laughs> the best reaction. I really wanted to see that rack of CDs. <laughs> so much so I didn't even realize that James Spader was right behind me staring at my ass. <laughs> but that wasn't his fault, it was my fault. Yes. Because I stuck my asses in my head. Your fault. Because you had to see those seats. I mean, he is a short man, so, yeah. you know, you probably didn't see him. And, and you know, you do have a nice butt. You were just presenting it. Hey, now! He's not. Yes. So he didn't I didn't think he was. That. I just, well, yeah, he didn't appreciate what was presented to him. Yeah. That's the problem. That's the real travesty here. They did? Am I am I correct so in my she assumption? Stuck her fingers in like the TARDIS's vagina or some shit. What the hell? It was like some goofy thing, so anyway, she stuck her fingers in there. You're and, gross. And it was supposed to like I didn't know that wait, we have to go back. I didn't realize the TARDIS had a vagina. <laughs> they pull the doctor back and he's all like taking a snooze and shit. So they're like, oh wait, I can do this thing. Let me stick my hands back in there and we can get back to another time and get away from these monster creature things. So in, she, in, into the TARDIS's vagina. Yes. And so she stuck her hands if, if I am to follow the thread of this story that you've woven for me, she's sticking her fingers in the TARDIS's vagina. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's and happening. Now she's in the doctor's past. You're a big yeah. Doctor Who fan. Hell 
yeah, Guy Fieri. This is the Lard House! <laughs> On diners, drive-ins, and dives! It's straight from the kitchen! <laughs> At the Lard House! I'm changing it. Because what? What San Diego has a tank, dear, because sometimes when you're on the beach and somebody's drinking a beer they're not supposed to drink, you have, you have to blow, blow them up. I love that they're treating this like it's some kind of contest, like, oh, 100 degree day. Yeah. Let's see who's in the club. Nobody like, it wasn't the worst the day in the world. It was so hot, I could not go outside. And it is humid as balls. Oh, and tomorrow's going to be even more humid because Odile is getting closer to us. What's the deal with Odile? I was doing a Jerry Seinfeld joke, and you'll notice it was a Jerry Seinfeld joke because it was not funny. <laughs> I noticed something! Come on down to Bob's house and meet, get you a cup of driplins. <laughs> I, you know I'd be on Diners, Drivers, and Dives with that oh. shit. We, did, we found this funky place where they're serving up nothing but meat juice. This is Bob's house of meat. Oh, the driplins. I only get the driplins. Oh, I order by the plot. I order, I order six cups of driplins and go home happy. I think he's actually concerned about this sandwich. I don't think he wants to eat it. Yeah. Yeah, maple mayo and all this. I think he It's like this guy is like Guy Fieri's gonna come into our shop and I wanna make the sandwich that kills him. That's the sound of him dying. Did he die? He's gonna end up at the doctor's office and be like, well, Mr. Fieri. We don't know what to tell you, but um, we performed the triple bypass and every single one of the clogged arteries was actually full of bacon. Yeah. All of them. There was not one artery not clogged full of bacon. Bobby Flynn, I'm gonna teach you how to make faille and fruit. First, buy a faille, open the top. This part's very difficult. Next, buy a fruit, any kind of fruit. Put it in the faille.
If you're feeling fancy, you can even cut it. Maybe put some honey in there. I don't know how they convinced him to do that. You know what I mean? Like, I like Bobby Flay. Why the hell is he in some kind of stupid ass advertiser where he's like, here, let me teach you a real complicated thing I do. Uh, 